From the time of the creation of Adam السلام, all the way until the day of judgment begins, there will never be a more severe trial than that of the Dajjal, the false messiah. Thus there was no prophet except that he warned his nation about him and the prophet Muhammad وسلم, even said to seek refuge in Allah from the evil of the trial of the false messiah after the tashahud that we say in our daily prayers. The companions asked him, O Messenger of Allah, how long will the Dajjal stay on the earth? The Prophet وسلم, said, 40 days, one day like a year, one day like a month, one day like a week, and the rest of the days like your days. The companions asked him, how fast will he travel through the earth? The Prophet وسلم, said, like the clouds when they are driven by the wind. Some of the trials that have been mentioned regarding the Dajjal are that he will come to some people and call them and they will respond to him and believe in him. So he will command the sky to rain and it'll rain. And he'll command the earth to produce vegetation and it'll do so. And their flocks will come back in the evening fuller than ever before. But then he'll go to some other people and call them, but they will reject him. So he will turn away from them and they will suffer drought and be left with nothing. He'll pass through ruins and say, bring forth your treasures and its treasures will follow him like a swarm of bees. He'll call a man brimming with youth and will strike him with a sword and cut him in two. He will put the two pieces as far apart as the distance between an archer and his target. Then he will call him and he will come back with his face shining and laughing. Another part of the Dajjal's fitna will be that he will say to a Bedouin, do you think that if I resurrect your father and mother for you, that you will testify that I am your Lord? He will say, yes. So two devils will appear to him in the image of his father and mother saying, O oh my son, follow him, for he is your Lord. The Prophet وسلم, warned us that the trial will be so severe that whoever hears of the Dajjal, let him flee from him, for by Allah, a man will come to him thinking that he's a believer, but then will follow the Dajjal because of the specious arguments he puts forth. However, the trial of the Dajjal, the trial of the false messiah will come to an end when Allah sends the true messiah, Prophet Isa السلام, Jesus, the son of Mary, back to earth and the true messiah will pursue and destroy the false messiah, the Dajjal.